My name is Brian Washburn, Washburn Acres. We're in Union City, Michigan. We farm 2,500 acres, 1,100 acres of soybeans, 1,100 acres is commercial corn, and we raise 400 acres of seed corn. We've got 114 acres in our test field this year for the AMS. Last year we didn't see much for results, but last year we had somewhere around 20 to 23 inches of rain. So last year was kind of a tough year to, to get a pretty even result. So far the year's been pretty good. I mean, we planted this field May 1st. We've had pretty good growing conditions. We've had timely rains. You know, and we just need, uh, we need a couple more rains to get stuff finished out. You're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. I mean, I'm, you could be the best and smartest farmer, but if you don't, you can't do it all. It's just not possible. So if you can surround yourself like people like Cala, you know, to oversee your ground or, or oversee for grain marketing, in the end, that really helps a farm grow and maintain what they have. So I've been working with the Washburns for eight years now. Uh, we, um, we work very well together here. They're always bouncing ideas off of each other. I'm like, hey, should we try, you know, like the AMS and soybeans thing, like that was something new to our area. And they are very open to it. Um, so we had tried, you know, it the first couple of years and saw some very good results. And so it's been kind of a program that we run with. Um, they soil sample their own acres with um, the help of our program every two to three years. And so I went through all the fields and kind of looked at the levels, phosphorus and potash levels, to see like there were some fields that they didn't need to fertilize um, and some fields that maybe just needed a crop removal. We did our application pre-plant. We spread it uh, with our potash, our 0062, and our uh, map, our 11520. The field we have it on now, I would say it's our, one of our top five fields every year, year and out. The consistency of the dirt is very even, uniform. Um, so we figured that'd be a good field to have a trial on. So we did strips of 100 pounds of AMS and no AMS across the field. I took um, soil samples before we um, started and then I just did them a couple weeks ago just to compare where we're at and tissue samples as well. So um, it'll be very interesting. We should see differences this year with the, we've had more even rainfall, I would say, throughout the summer. We haven't had big rain events to wash it through the soil profile. So I would say we should see some, some good yield results this year. I mean, our soil, it ranges anywhere. We got sandy, gravelly soils all the way up to heavy clay. We do have some muck. So we've got a lot of variability in our soils. I would say soil type does affect uh, ammonium sulfate rate recommendations. So if you're on your sandier loam soils, those aren't going to release basically any sulfur. Uh, so I would like to see, you know, your 100 pounds of AMS on those fields. Whereas if we get into a muck situation or like a heavier, um, heavier clay soil, those are going to release a little more sulfur. So I would like to stay closer to that 50 pounds. I still want it out there, but I think we're going to get some extra from the soil that we don't need to put as much on up front. Sulfur is so mobile in the soil, it's something that we apply every year. So we don't necessarily sample for it um, because it's something we know the soil needs because it's we have very sandy soils around here. So it's kind of like a supplement. It's similar to nitrogen, I would say. In corn, I'd say the sulfur in soybeans um, needs to be there because it's just leaching through the soil profile every year. So it's just something we found that it really helps with nodules early on and helps the soybean get a better start. The Washburns, they do all of their fertilizer on um, up front before the soybeans uh, are planted. So that's why we kind of worked it in that way. We just added into their normal map and potash and boron mix. I would like to see about spreading it after the crop is planted, maybe spread it out and you know, do multiple applications, you know, do half up front or two thirds up front and two in another third after it's planted. Definitely see more consistency in our fields that have had the um, Advanced 6 AMS on them just because they're getting a better start. Their nodules, like it's giving them kind of a jump start since the soybeans can't make their own nitrogen until like V3, V4, like it's putting that nitrogen there and that sulfur there to help those nodules, help that soybean plant get going before the nodules are able to make, fix the own nitrogen for the soybean plant. So it's definitely a more consistent field look. Last year we had some big differences in pod counts. So I'm, I'm hoping to definitely see that again this year and hopefully that translates to more higher yields um, differences as well.